I think we all have our um, different style. Different mm. style. Like everybody has their own original style. But you can it? tell that it's heavy artillery, though. Yeah, I think so. You yeah. can tell a heavy artillery writer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. Killer, killer podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com. <laughs> My name's Killer Keller. We are in the London borough of Kensington at Chelsea. Above us is the legendary Trellick Tower, towering over the whole of London. We directly below are in the number one Hall of Fame. This is the call to action. It's time to save Trellick Tower Hall of Fame. This is more than just an empty space. This is a people space. This is a location for communities to come together and various activities, not to mention open air parties, as well as the art here, which is more than just art. This is a legal place for an otherwise illegal activity to flourish, graffiti. We've over 40 years of arts and culture to be taken away from us in what seems to be a relatively small patch of land. Trellick has played host to some of the most important moments in street art history. Stockwell's a great example of a hall of fame that's managed to retain its integrity whilst working with the local community. This essentially is what we need from the Trellick Tower. As a location, this is featured in so many documentaries of arts and culture, not to mention blockbuster movies, the international artists that have come here to paint, to be a part of the community, as well as the surrounding boroughs. This place needs to be saved as soon as possible. Outside of the arts, this is a kids' play area where people young and old come together from the community. If this place is taken away and redeveloped, where are they going to go? This is a call to action to anybody that's been involved in the history of the Trellick Hall of Fame. Hashtag Trellick Hall of Fame. We've also got the handle Instagram Trellick Hall of Fame. This is going to be the hub for us to galvanise, get crew together, get people involved and make a difference. It's time for change. We want to keep this Trellick Hall of Fame alive and well into 2020 and beyond. Get involved, be a part of it. Thank you. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Once again, it's on Killer Keller Live and Direct, not in London. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. Um, we ain't in London at all. Uh, camera on now. We are in Copenhagen, Denmark, and what a fucking pleasure I have to be sitting next to one of the dons of the scene right now. Gebez, heavy artillery. How are you, brother? I'm all good. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this is, this is the Hotel uh, uh, California when it comes to podcasts right now. It's, it's pretty much up there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and it's in the right area. It's yeah. a, yes, talking of which, right, so this, this hotel, it, it, I've just been geographically schooled on what it was up until a year ago. What was it? Explain it again. It's like this street I was on... Uh, Used to be the where all the prostitutes uh, were, and it's only a year. It's been like completely cleaned up, and it's really hipster now. It's it's really strange. That must spook you right <laughs> out. Yeah, for sure. A lot of Copenhagen, play, a lot of places in Copenhagen are getting rebuilt at the moment. So it's yeah, it's it's strange in a lot of ways yeah. because uh, there used to be a lot of spaces where you can paint, uh, also legal, and yeah. and nowadays it's. A lot of the places are gone. Really? So, yeah, yeah. So I guess around here was quite a prime spot. If you were to find some graph, this would be near, the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, not not let this place, but close, close by the whole the harbor uh, where we are. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So, oh, so we're close to the harbor right now. Yeah, yeah. Really. See, this is the thing. See, when you come to a city. I say it before on a podcast, I always know the geographics of where the graph is to where something is. You know, there's a reference point or something. But when you come into a new city and it's so, like, fresh, it's like, you ain't got a clue or anything. No. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're really close to the harbour and uh, uh, what's it called? We, we're in the meatpacking district. Yeah, the yeah, meatpacking yeah. district. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, this has been, like, kind of a hipster place for bars and mm -hmm. stuff like that for 10 years. 15 years or something like that. Really? It used to be like, yeah, meatpacking uh, place. And where, where all the junkies were. And yeah. we're close to the, to the main station as well. And 
you know, yeah. behind every uh, main station in the world, they're always... Yeah, yeah. For, it's yeah. got the recipe yeah, yeah. of hipster yeah, yeah, yeah. gentrification. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> it, and and it, uh, it feels like nowadays, like, graph kind of is... It's installed into a place to re- to begin the regentrification. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, it's just strange. Nowadays, I'm, I'm actually looking more to the suburban to go to go to find places where. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the th- thought process in that? What? I think it's. Oh, this yeah, maybe it's too deep, but uh, it's it's like um, we're getting deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, it, it, the last couple of years, uh, the whole Harvard area. There used to be a really ho- big Hall of Fame there. I think it was Northern Europe's biggest Hall of Fame or something no like that. No fucking way. And and uh, <gasps> it, I, it's I started painting there in two thousand, uh, and it got closed in two thousand seventeen, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was. A, uh, yeah, it was, it was saddened. You know, you. I, I, f- I find myself like painting that spot most of my life, and suddenly yeah. it's gone. And now it's just like buildings, like the most ridiculous, ugly buildings out there. Uh. Uh, and I don't know. It's just saddened me every time I go there. Breaks my heart. That yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I just try to go out, like just a little bit out of Copenhagen, to mm-hmm. to find new spots and to find yeah, yeah, yeah factories yeah. and stuff like that. The world's changing. Before, for sure, yeah. Copenhagen, it's like, it used to be a, a cool spot for mm. abandoned buildings and stuff like that. Now it's just like nothing. Mm. Who, are the, who, are the, who are the prominent characters that you saw in those sorts of Hall of Fames? Because, you know, we're getting into the Copenhagen scene right now. So who are the, who are the prominent names that were often circulating around? There have been so many. I mean, uh, of course, there is the, like, um, there's so many classic writers in, in Copenhagen. It's always have been like a... a uh, a huge scene like uh, I don't yeah um, I can name so many names but I uh, now I'm just totally blanking out but uh, for for like you, you see like Bates Sabe uh, mm-hmm. Sweat you, you see a lot of good names here mm-hmm. um, and and um, I don't know. I mean, it's all depending, and it also has a big. Uh, Copenhagen also has a big um, train scene as well, which is another like another huge. It's another arm to, yeah, yeah, to do sure. the thing. So yeah. I think the Copenhagen scene has always been like really, really, really strong in a lot of ways. Like both tagging trains, walls, mm. legal walls, stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. There's so many scenes to 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 see here. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, one that you've got to. This is the other thing about graph, uh, particularly in Europe. There's, there's there's a there's an expression on each. It's like take each element seriously. Yeah, yeah. It's like the dub is. Yeah. It's, it's as refined as the tag. It's yeah, as yeah. refined as the piece. Yeah. And uh, I think um, a lot of uh, Copenhagen writers try to do them all. Mm. I think, which I think is a really cool thing to yeah. do, like to master tag, to master throw ups, to master. Mm. Pieces to master characters to uh, trains whatever for uh, real and we just got a metro some yeah a lot of times uh, a lot of years ago now but yeah um, so people are really hitting that as well and really, that's yeah. the next level you know uh, I've seen pieces people doing like whole trains on on metro and it's running and it's like insane running yeah whole cars yeah yeah whole full trains as well uh, yeah it's, it's full crazy full burners full burners yeah, yeah. like from one end of the train to the other. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. On the metro, not not the S train, but no. also on the metro. It's like there's so many there's so many things at the moment to to, to paint in like more the illegal nowadays. Yeah. It's like I said before, like the all the legal hall of fames is a lot of them closed. Mm. I, I would say. That's well, then you get, you're bound to get a reaction like we're going to do trains, we're going to do track sides. Yeah, I think when so, you start yeah. killing off the those for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I mean, yeah. I, uh, recently, I've, 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 I've been painting more illegal than legal. Like, mm. it's nothing. It, it's nothing to do with like. Uh, there's some. Oh, I want to do this and that. Yeah, yeah. It's just like uh, there's a wall and I want to paint. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Let's take it back. Let's go back to yeah, your yeah, beginnings. Sure. Come, come a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely in the camera. Yeah. So <laughs> let's go. Let's go back. Let's take it right back to uh, to where you first started. What was the influences in, and where you began? Um, I, I grew up in like right outside of Copenhagen, in the suburban to Copenhagen, uh, which at this city there wasn't that much graffiti, mm. um, and I, I, actually the, the 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 thing is I, I didn't saw any pieces at the. In my hometown or anything, sometimes when I when I go into the Copenhagen 
uh, by the train. I, I saw, of course, pieces. Mm. I didn't know what it was. Mm. Um, and yeah, and 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 I started. I was going to a skate park in in uh, something called Filipagen. Okay. Where it's just uh, there were some legal walls there, and at that time there wasn't there wasn't that many legal walls, mm. uh, and you see all the big riders painting there. And at one time I saw it, and I was just like a small kid, mm. and I was just like, I can do that. This looks easy, and I tried it, <laughs> and I was like. That's not easy. <laughs> I was just like, "Fuck!" Well, let me re up here. Let me think about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it was like I think it was just, uh, in ninety ninety six. I uh, I started to listen to hip hop, like Danish rap uh, mm-hmm. music, um, and I got into that scene. I remember I was like thirteen or something like that, mm-hmm. um, and grow to to all the jam, and you saw people uh, mm-hmm. painting the walls for the jams and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I just thought, whoa, this is this is this is a really cool um, scene. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. And yeah. I got really into to the hip hop scene mm. at that time, and then it changed for me. Like I started to 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 try to paint. Uh, I remember like seeing graffiti in, in the Philippines, and, and I wanted to do it in my hometown. And we 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 and some of our friends we starting to write uh, BSM, mm-hmm. um, meaning. Um, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so knowledge right here, baby. Yeah. Uh, and and we just uh, we just painted and I painted like shit. I mean, I, I painted so bad you you wouldn't believe it. Um, well, 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 this was only like early. Yeah, early this was only like ninety seven, maybe ninety. So I'm pretty sure that within the space of six months, you would have nailed at least some of the form. No. Really? <laughs> no. I was. Uh, 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 I I had so many. I, I was. I thought, oh, you have to do like your original style, and I just came up with really bad style at the mm-hmm. beginning. Uh, I remember, like in '99, there was the first time where when uh, there was something revolution for myself. Um, I came up with a new way to paint, like uh, sketch up the piece, which was I didn't sketch up the piece. Mm-hmm. I just. Do a blob. We are going to get into this yeah, okay. <laughs> because this is a subject that, that is burning me, and I've been told by a little bird that I need to ask you about this. All yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So your style, you explain. It's essentially, it's like you, you see, like you're role reversing. You're reversing everything that you, the way that you do. Your... Uh, yeah, it kind of. I, 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 I start sketching up like the just the shape. Yeah, the shape of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. just find a nice shape and then I fill it in. Yeah. And I just do a line around that, and then I do the outline, I like finding the letters. Bro, it's like you're taking away elements of Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Shuffling them yeah. around. Yeah, and, and 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 that all started like in '99 when I did, uh, because it's, I had the idea because I uh, I did on a canvas, just painted, filled in with paint, and I couldn't see my sketch. Like, I couldn't see the the lines where the piece were going, and I just like oh, I didn't want to. Yeah, throw this I out. Feel that. So I just starting to 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 do like freestyle on it, mm. and I said, oh, "This is easier for me." I was like, "This is this is easier." <sighs> that just blows my mind. <laughs> and then I, I remember like that that, that t- like that day in in '99, my good friend that I painted with back then, mm. and I, when I told him the idea, I want to do a piece where I don't sketch up. He was just looking at me and like, yeah, I, I can tell like he was looking at our, our other friend, and it's like, mm-hmm. that's him. Being bonkers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next day he came to me. That was your best piece, and I felt the same way. So I was just like, I think I discovered something here. That's in, that's just perfect. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All this time that you're trying to re- replicate something that other people have, and you just want to break the mold and try something else. Yeah, and the thing is, like, um, at a certain time, everything gets old. Mm. After I painted that for many years, which I think the first piece was was shit still, mm. but you, I get better and better at it. At one point, I, it was like I was doing the same and the same and the same because of the formation, the yeah. mold. Of, I, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of find like some shapes that worked for me. Yeah, and it was really hard for me to break out of that shape because in your head you're repeating and yeah, cuz yeah. you know it to be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some like oh when I do the G mm. there I can do the E and 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 it kind of put me in a box again. Mm. Which was the f- like mm. which was the thing I wanted to go out of. Mm-hmm. And then it was really strange. I was like, okay, I want to do pieces 
like everybody else, like yeah. sketch it up, yeah. like learn that from the beginning. So, but that was, it was so, it's like this is 10 years ago or something yeah, like that. Yeah. I started doing traditional lineup sketching up and I changed my name at that point just to, uh, to do something else, mm. which was, I, I find it really hard in the beginning to, to do to it. To change your name in the... Yeah, and mm-hmm. do like, uh, do a new, uh, like a traditional lineup. Uh, I wanted also to do like more of a straight letter yeah. kind of style. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, your, as your name suggests, with the G and the E and the B and the E, you know, the re- repeated E's, the the G, and just these. I would, I mean, that's especially the G. I mean, I'd imagine that's that's to try and start from scratch on the way that you're painting and using letters like that. Yeah, yeah. That must be, have been a head fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, I, when I started, uh, there was I, I couldn't. I, I, did, I don't know if there was any writer with the G, mm-hmm. maybe gear, but o- otherwise, uh, I, it was not the most common letters mm. letter. Um, and I, I, I just wanted to do something <laughs> original. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, um, yeah. Um, Storm. Yeah. Did he put you in? No. Um, well, how did, how did uh, the, yeah, the, the the thing was... Um, Storm, bad man as well, old tight Storm. Yeah, he has an exhibition today, actually. I just came from it. So. What? <laughs> yeah. Man, I tell you what, it's all <laughs> popping off around here. You know what I mean? I just <laughs> jump into this place yeah. and I'm like, yo, no way. It, yeah, but he has an exhibition uh, with the uh, junk house in, uh, from uh, South Korea. Yeah, uh, They have an exhibition. We can still this. make it. I mean, if we, we can... Uh, yeah. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Come on, sorry, carry on. This is your podcast, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah, pl- do explain your relationship, Defo. Um, we, we, um, uh, I think it was uh, Gyro who mm. first came. Uh, Storm and Gyro, they used to be in a crew together. They, they weren't, they're still there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they used to be in another crew together. Um, and Gyro go to Copenhagen a lot of times. Mm. Um uh, so so yeah we 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 and I met him and we we, we got good friends and, mm-hmm. um, and Storm asked me if I want to go to see uh, Arrow in mm-hmm. Brighton. I've never been in England at that time, so I was like yeah yeah for sure uh, mm-hmm. f- yeah uh, and I know I knew uh, Gyro and I also met Relay. Uh, yeah, but Bad he was Bad Man uh, Yeah yeah, but but he, he, uh, he I don't think he was in heavy artillery at that moment, but right. Um, and I think he joined, and then me and Storm, we we went to Brighton, uh, and and we we I met uh, I met Arrow and yeah. painted with uh, Trash as well, and I can't remember who else was. Yeah, of course, Arrow. Um, this must have been a time where Arrow was pretty much taking over the whole of Brighton with yeah, his yeah, pieces. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> Hold like, tight, Arrow. <laughs> I remember like we painted the Black Rock, yeah. and I don't think Arrow has ever seen my piece at that mm. time. And I just do the blob thing, mm. and I can tell he was just looking at it and like, oh, he, he, that was his words to me. He was just like, "Yo, you have to ask him the, the <laughs> yeah. you know, because it's just it was, to him it was just like it was almost like a reset of thinking. It was just like that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, but, but it, it was it was mm. really it was really funny because uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like painting with these brilliant guys, and just mm. like, please don't fuck up, please don't fuck yeah, up, please yeah, don't fuck really. up. You know, you know how it is, and I I just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I pulled it off. You know, I, 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 sometimes you know you, you when you hit yeah. a good you, when you do a good piece. But I do like, get it. I do get it. It's that feeling of like I could do. You could be doing this any other day, but because there's a lot of powers in yeah, one yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the thing was like, when we painted. I think it was they took back uh, the Black Rock. Mm-hmm. I think it's called. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah, I think yeah. it is. Is it the one on the hill? Yeah, exactly. That's the one. And, yeah. and we climbed a fence and painted it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and He's like, yeah, we have to do a character, and I was like, I don't, I'm not a character painter. Mm. I was like, okay, I, I, I just did. Uh, I've seen at the time, uh, Arrow did a lot of the oofsies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, okay, I want to do something. I do. Uh, I think I did a, uh, a bird with a bazooka or something like that, yeah. just to like. To, Dude, <laughs> to, that's to ambitious, fun. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's like it, it, it yeah, didn't yeah. turn out that well. But mm. but it's it's, it's it, it was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think uh, I think it, it, it turned out really good and. Mm-hmm. We back, went back home. Uh, Gyro went back to Copenhagen. We did a wall, and we got a phone call from Arrow and said, "Hey, you want to be in Harriet Tillery?" So that must have blown your mind. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because all these people were like uh, some of my favorite writers, mm. and I was like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. I always 
when I explained it, I was always try to say like, imagine playing for a small soccer team or mm. a football team, um, like in in local Danish club, and suddenly you you got to ask like for a big uh, like uh, I don't know what I don't know. Uh, like a big uh, club to say, hey, you want to join us mm. and, 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 and play for us? And it was, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> but but there also fall, I think, uh, comes a lot of uh, responsibility mm. with it. I mean, um, I cannot just like do blobs, they have stuff anymore. <laughs> so explain to me that, 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 not pressure, but that responsibility. Explain to me that responsibility, because uh, like mm. you're saying, there, there's a lot of heads. Yeah, yeah. In that crew. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. Like, uh, which, which I think is, is uh, I think we all have our um, different style, different mm. style. Like, everybody has their own original style. But you can tell that it's heavy artillery there. Yeah, I think so, You yeah. can tell a heavy artillery writer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. I, yeah. I, I think it's it's a good mix of people and a, pix- mm. uh, a good mix of uh, styles and, mm. yeah, and quality, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think at that time in that era, like era, 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 era yeah, yeah, uh, it was um, there was so much happening like uh, all over the world. And I think so. We're talking about two two thousand nine, maybe mm-hmm. no, maybe eight. I can't remember. Two thousand. I think it was two thousand and eight. Shit was changing at yeah, that time. Yeah, it yeah. felt. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And a lot of uh, new styles starting to mm. involve. Street art was really taking a, a hold yeah. as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think every... every And, and people starting to travel more, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe the the, the the airplanes got cheaper. I don't know. Yeah. But I at least starting to travel a, lo- a lot more mm. and to see, meet new people. And mm. yeah, so t- t- that was a big... Uh, it was fun. Something to be said about when you're traveling and the influences that... You can almost tell a well-rounded traveling writer just by the influences that he's being associated with the rest of... You know, UK's an island and often um, some some pieces stand out because somebody from Poland has come over for six months and is just doing his thing. Yeah. And these things can have these below-the-line, you know... You can't quite tell. No, but there's an influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for for sure. Like uh, when you said that, I I think about I wasn't around back then, but <laughs> in the eighties in in Copenhagen, um, I have some friends who started uh, the Copenhagen scene started in eighty four, I think. I have some friends who started back then. I was, I'm born in eighty three, uh, so I, of course I wasn't around. <laughs> um, but the thing is, I think in eighty. Now I have uh, eighty six or something like that. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Shu Bando and Mo Tu came to Copenhagen and stayed here for two weeks or something so like there that. There you go. Yeah, and 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 there's like we talked about like the Copenhagen scene before that mm-hmm. and after that. That that changed the whole. Uh, as I heard, I, I wasn't around. So that, that that's actually that's incredible. That's like before color TV, you know. I guess. Yeah, you yeah. Know, this is, but for for the significance of a scene. Yeah, yeah. It's like it changed yeah, second yeah. gear to fifth. And the thing of. is, like you can you can tell, like you can see, like suddenly if you painted the old way, fuck you a toy. Mm. I mean, really? Yeah, that, that I wasn't oh, no, there. No, so, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Uh, but but the thing spicy. is, spicy. We like it spicy Ooh. on here. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, I, I, as I heard, like if you painted the old way, you're like, oh, aren't you on? The what are you thing? doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't you seen the the pieces from from these? But I think back that th- th- there must have been like there were there were. Really young teenagers. Mm. Imagine going to another country when you're like 14 years old, 15 years old, <laughs> and just starting a new revolution in the yeah. country. 15 years old. Do you think? Do you think? I mean, give, Mode Two. He unquestionably deserves and gets props. But yeah. do you think he recognizes the significance that his part played in changing scenes like that? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. You, you just, I think some of the pieces in Copenhagen are still there. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think there was one in in Hello. They're still there. Wow. Uh, yeah, and uh, they did uh, like uh, tr- a lot of trains here. They, uh, they did a lot. Uh, uh, yeah. Train trains. Are, I mean, you guys have a very different system. I th- I think there's a different discipline that's that's brought upon you if you you know if you do disciplinary if you yeah, do yeah. do do trains like the uk 
We get it pretty. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Also, you had a lot of the CCTV. TV. Oh, everywhere. And all sorts. I mean, this is only through the hindsight of, of conversations. I'm just remembering the kind of conversations that I've had. And yeah, man, uh, Europe seems to have a, a different type of tolerance. Yeah, I think so. It, it, it's They're changing. Sometimes they're, uh, they're not hitting as hard against graffiti. Mm. Like the last couple of years, they have been not... To my regulation, there's not have been like a lot of um, really strict, mm. uh, which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but uh, it's all, it goes up and down, and suddenly mm. it's like oh, don't you're bad do again. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you have to be, uh, yeah, have to be careful. Why do you think that is? I think it's just uh, a lot of the thing is with with governments and stuff like that. Mm. I think. Um, yeah, then one sometimes you want to do example of somebody, yeah. and they they if they catch somebody, they will throw him into jail or something like that. Right, almost because it's like too obvious, yeah. too public. I think so. I'm mm. I'm not hundred percent here, I but, know, but I get uh, it. yeah, I get yeah, it. Um, yeah. The hardest the hardest bit of it is, I think, with public opinion and trends and new technology and all these different things happening all at once. Yeah, there's a. I would argue that there's a real passive okay with doing graph at the moment. Yeah. But we all know that, you know, if someone comes into um, government or something bad happens in the, the society, so yeah. it can all change. Yeah, for certain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, but I think uh, nowadays it's really... Copenhagen has a little uh, really... Um, Pro graffiti at the moment. Mm. Uh, uh, I think they have been they have actually been building some legal walls in in Copenhagen. That's which, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's from sick. the from the government, like from the the what's the I don't know like, um, I don't know the name of it, but the commune. I don't mm. know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the, com- the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the 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 council isn't it? That's oh, right. The yeah. council. That's the equivalent of yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. they have built some legal walls. Which is cool and and good, uh, yeah. As, uh, I think that's super important. We we have a. I mean, I went down to this place called the Trellick in London. Yeah, it's a bit of an iconic place for 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 a whole bunch of reasons, but graph predominantly. And it was all locked up, and I just thought to myself, man, like I mean, I, there's other places, but there's there's very few. I mean, there's Stockwell Hall of Fame in South London. That's l- legal. That's I mean, you have gotta be really fucking dope to, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you know when it's legal and yeah. it's it's legit. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like the level has to be up, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, you know, but in London, I think there is a a lack, generally, of of tr- positive treatment. Yeah. To Hall of Fames and being treated. Yeah. In the right but, way, but 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 what about like um, what about like everybody is talking about Banksy? Mm. Do you think um, do you think that helped a lot for the public to 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 recognize street art and and, and graffiti? I think, uh, and this is only from the outside looking in in London. I feel like I feel like he left the public in question with themselves. Yeah, yeah. Because on one hand, it's like, yeah, we really like that. Yeah, yeah. But we, we're we not sure if we like that. No, no. And it's Te- like... Text is bad. Text yeah. is bad. But, yeah, yeah. but I like that rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is absolute bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Right? But the the fact is, is that, you know, if... Like, like my dad knows who Banksy is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which spins me out. Yeah, yeah. Because it never was the case. No. No matter how much I was into graph, he would never pay a bit of attention no, no. to it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there is an effect which I feel like as part of like a bigger organism for Europe and the yeah. world to have these characters that have are on the other side of the seesaw. Yeah, yeah. You have to have a balance, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I mean, um, I think he, I think a lot of graffiti writers um, hates on him, like on Bangs. I don't think it's it's him on personally. I think it's more the, the street art scene and, mm-hmm. and and all that, um, I don't know. Uh, it is tough, isn't it? Because the the hating aspect, um, I think, I, I I don't think it's so much, or entirely, spice alert. I don't think it's it's art specifically. I think it's what 
people feel he represents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he's been accepted. Exactly. Yeah, and, and yeah. yeah. Um, I have nothing against. I mean, there's lots of things. I have seen a lot of stuff, yeah. and it's like, oh, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I have nothing against it. I mean, yeah. uh, everybody has to express. Uh, who am I to judge? Hmm? What other people wants to express on the street? For sure. I mean, it is. Yeah, yeah that's right. But, uh, but this is coming from someone here who's like blatantly got like his own style popping off. And what I again, just going back to how you swung into this thing. No one else does it that I know of that does it like that and gets away with doing full burners like that that look right. Structured. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah, uh, I mean. Um yeah, I, 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 I was say, uh, nowadays I haven't been painting like that for a couple of years. The last, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going back to the more traditional style. Lately I've been experimenting with some new stuff, mm. like doing a piece that isn't a piece anymore, like the, I can't explain it really good, um, where the, the piece is the background and uh, yeah. Bubbles is the piece. I think I've seen it on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, seen it on your Instagram. Yeah. But you do even know, man, I've seen like the videos that you've got on there, there is a different way of painting. It is a different yeah. way of painting. <laughs> sometimes I, I, I really not always sketch all my letters completely up. I sometimes just fill it in and say, ah, I'll find out yeah, yeah. as I go along. Still do that. But I kind of like the freedom of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. Do you think that works? That Yeah, freedom, man. Pe <laughs> peace, Hang man. loose. <laughs> peace in the Western world, man. Yeah. But, you know, this is the thing. Like, once you adapt that free form, I think that's telling of, of, uh, of your style. Like Arrow, for instance, like he'll he'll have a real focus on a letter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like he yeah, goes yeah. in on a letter yeah, yeah. just to that tension and release, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And I guess we, uh, you know, all all writers have their own different way of working. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, and color schemes and all that mm. as well. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, no, 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 it's yeah. good, it's good. This is the most insightful. Now, I love coming to another country and just working out, okay, how does that work? Where did this begin? When, you know, where did you get your influences from? And, I mean, what writers out there, you know, outside of your crew, obviously, what other people influenced you at the, you know, back in the day? Um, I grew up, like, in an area where, where um, Kager, which is, uh, uh, yeah, he, he, he grew up, close by i think mm. uh because i saw all his tech every Sick. like when i was a kid uh and of course saw all his trains and mm. stuff like that and i was like that's that i always liked his style mm. and i think everybody everybody does but yeah. but um i've seen so many good writers i mean uh copenhagen had a lot of good uh good styles uh, for sure yeah for um, sure there was a lot of pioneering as well yeah um, the crew thing, yeah, was it is a big deal for in sure. Europe, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. Uh, for real, um, uh, in general. I, uh, actually, my like my first graph magazine back in ninety seven was Graphitism, uh -huh. which was England, and so this is, um, yeah, that's also in. Uh, I got inspired by that because mm. I, I saw all this English style, where, uh, which was funny because a lot of years later. Um, I, I I remember being at Wayne's house in in Milano, with the uh, alert, and he's like, oh, and he he, he Wayne had that magazine, hmm. like the same magazine, uh, the first one I think it was Graphism Eight. Or right. Okay. Yeah. It's an old one. Yeah. Yeah. And and he said, oh, I have a lot of pieces in it, and just there, I was like, wait, hmm. that's the same alert I I was watching, like growing up, and and. Oh my God! That yeah, was man. you. Like, I, I didn't connect the dots. Wow! It's like, it's like, of course it is. Of course it is. It's it's him. Yeah. That must have blown your mind. Yeah, it was like, holy shit! I used to look at this piece for yeah. for for ages. I mean, yeah. Wow, dude! Full circle exactly. of your <laughs> life. Like. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I just remember like, guys, this was before the internet. So, or at least the mm. internet was just kindling. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so. If if you you have to see it in the magazine or in the streets, mm, yeah, and, uh, so that's kind of all you had. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so style evolved slow I think, back then, I think, mm. uh, because. Um, but there's also another thing to it. Back then, it was easier to tell. Like a city could have a different style, 
if you go to Aarhus in, in Denmark, you can tell like they yeah. painted like Aarhus graffiti. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you go to Olbo, they painted like Olbo graffiti. Mm. Or if you go to, uh, imagine the same in in London, yeah, and, sure. and you go to Nottingham, or yeah. people painted different in each city yeah. because they only saw what they, what, what the other, yeah, what they were in the bubble yeah, exactly, with. yeah, 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 for sure. I think now, when somebody does something new, there's sooner they, uh, it's quicker, um, yeah, it's quicker, yeah, I think, mm. uh, yeah, it's it's like. Uh, something come up. Someone come up with a clever thing. You say, oh, he did the same, mm. and he did the same. Oh, fine. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I'm I'm kind of cynical about that because style is like so important. And just because someone's got, only got eight thousand followers, and you've got one hundred twenty thousand, yeah, you can't just rip someone's style. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But as yeah. um, but I think everybody has done it. Like everybody has, uh, yeah. Uh, being inspired I think mm. there's a difference between being ex- uh, inspired by something and doing a bite I mean a, a bite is like you can see it if if it's completed uh, a complete rip yeah 100% uh, I mean uh, yeah I always try for myself at least uh, to do some come up with my own like mm. oh, what what do, uh, yeah mm. experiment because that's the other thing as well we can get so deep in, in our you know we we break a few ribs sucking ourselves off at like trying to get like a style that's yeah, only yeah. you. Yeah. But sometimes it's actually in front of the mirror. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That was what uh, I talked earlier about like when I started, I wanted to be so original that I was like, it just looked like mm. bad shit. Like it's like, fuck. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and, it, and you just got to go with the flow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You have to, I think in graffiti, a lot of times you just need to learn the basics, mm. like the, what does a, a letter look like, and yeah. and from there you can change it. You know? mm. uh, I tried to to change it before I knew to do letters. Uh-huh. That didn't work. Mm. <laughs> so I, I need to I needed to learn the the basics of the it. letters first. Yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I still see a lot of good writers like um, like they can do like mass like uh, master uh, characters and stuff like that. When you see them do letters, you can mm. instantly see. Whoop! Oh, There's a weakness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, so I think it's it's important to try to at least master some of the elements. Like yeah. You have to have a good tag. You have to uh, can do a throw up. You have to do a eight hour piece and do mm. a ten minutes piece. I think all these elements. For uh, real. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's the it's building blocks. Of yeah. yeah. Awesome, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Wise words from an awesome man himself gave us. <laughs> Bro, what's the future? Future from 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 my perspective, or yeah. the and the crew, yeah, and the crew, yeah. Um, we're working actually working on something at the moment, uh, but you have to wait and see what. Yeah, what's going. yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert! Yeah, yeah. yeah. no spoilers <laughs> here, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, of course, the Corona did uh, did a number of yeah. on, on on the whole traveling scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised I'm even here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, something's gonna go wrong. Something's gonna go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, we don't want to take any more of your time. Obviously, plus we're doing it on the phone, so I don't want us to cut out at any point. Uh, any other shout outs? Any run you want to shout out, bro? My whole crew. Uh, yeah. Um, of course. Uh all my Copenhagen friends. Yeah, uh, so tight, yeah, yeah. Tight. Honestly, thank you for making me feel so welcome, my brother. You're always welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabe is in the house. Heavy artillery, come on. It's doing it like this, Copenhagen. Just, you know, just another standard weekend. Not entirely true. We do it normally in London. No, we're doing it on location. That's what we're doing out here, all right? Big shout out to everyone watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not sleep. I repeat on that. Repeat, do not sleep on it, okay? We are like humans out of fashion. Thank you so much. Killer Killer Podcast. Gabe is respect, my brother. Peace. Peace. Yeah.